press conference and get to Jim Cramer. He joins us with a very special guest. Jim. Thank you so much, David and Sarah. Yes, I am with Jensen Wong, and we are at what some people are calling, Jensen, the, the Woodstock of AI. But isn't it much more than that? Isn't it about a change in everything we do when it comes to digital, when it comes to creating, it comes to thinking? You're changing that. Isn't that what we're doing out here? Yeah, this is an incredible conference. This is NVIDIA's developer conference. Everything that we do starts with software. Everything we do starts with software. And everything we do is in service of all the software developers who are solving these really difficult algorithms. We are represented by $100 trillion of industry here. Healthcare is here. Financial services are here. Manufacturing, industrial, automotive, climate tech. You know, holy cow, communications is here. Consumers are here. But people always think of you as and hardware. You're talking about a different platform, a yeah. system that, frankly, may be unassailable from competitors. Because once all these companies get involved with you, they're going to stick with NVIDIA. For it's a, a very, very specialized time. way of doing computing called accelerated computing. And what we do, what we do is this. Jim, this is, this is the, the observation a long time ago. 30, 30 years ago, we observed that the CPU is really good at many things, but there are some things it's, it's surprisingly ungood at. Parallel things, things that you could distribute across a large number of processors. And so what we did was we added NVIDIA to a CPU, we connected it to a CPU, offload the work that the CPU is not good at, and we run that work insanely fast. Well, surprisingly, that work that the CPU is not good at represents 95% of the time that is spent in computing. We offload that 95% of the time, and we run it 100 times faster. But you're talking about a total do-over of all technology. Yeah. You're talking about everything. You know, our country's building new, new plants that are using old technology, if that's the case. It's wrong. Well, we should build amazing semiconductor plants here. And we'd be more than happy to build all kinds of chips here. But it's very clear that in the future, that general purpose computing, it's like a general purpose almost anything, you know, general purpose uh, uh, instrument of any kind, it's not very efficient. Right. There are many types of things that we want to do very efficiently. Computation of mathematics, we want to do very, very efficiently. And so as a result of doing it efficiently, you drive the cost down, you use less energy. One of our computers, this is our latest generation, this is the chip that goes into it. This is the largest chip the world's ever seen. This is beyond the limits of physics. We had to invent some new technology to make it possible to do How this. How many bits this are in? 208 billion transistors. In that? Um, gosh, it's even harder. In that, what yeah, we're looking in, at. In the, yeah, in this little tiny part in the middle. And what should that cost? This, this will cost, you know, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. And how much did you spend to develop? The very first one, the R&D budget of this generation is probably something like $10 billion. $10 billion, not million. $10 billion. billion. And you yeah. deserve the right to be able to recoup that, well, and you're doing it. Well, we're, we're going to do our very best job. And this computer here, this computer and the here. the name of that computer? This is called the Blackwell computer. This computer here has. a very. Yes, a mathematician. Steam, right, yeah. steam yeah. mathematician. Yeah, really terrific mathematician. And, and this computer here will replace thousands of general purpose computers. This Alex. is the part that's incredible. In fact, what's amazing is that the cables of connecting last generation general purpose computers, the cables of connecting them, cost more than the price of one of these computers. The amount of energy that we save is incredible. Megawatts and megawatts and megawatts. Because of this, we made it possible for the computer to write software by itself. It is so insanely fast. Now the software can write, the, the computer can write its own software, and we call that artificial intelligence. So if that's the case, why do we still need us? Well, we still have to guide the software. We have, to, we have to create the algorithms such that the computer can go write software. And that algorithm is called deep learning. Yes, yeah, re really quite a remarkable thing that, that uh, happened in the last and 12 if years. We